Hello, welcome back everyone. As usual, let's start with the updates. Uh, so I have a couple of things on the agenda already. So uh, I will name Karen first, if you wanna start. Karen? Yeah, just finding the unmute. Uh, first item uh, was a follow up from last week um, to see an update from Eleanor. Um, she hasn't progressed very far with that at the moment, so I think we wait a while before asking for a status of that again. That was for the Unified Database um, proposal that we talked about a while ago. Okay, cool. Any questions on that? Or do we continue with the second item? Okay, let's continue. You're still up, Kevin. The next right. items are also yeah. yours. Okay, so the um I went through some of the open items. Um the next item was um there was a dim expert discussion, uh, was something that we brought up on the 10th of April. I haven't heard anything more about this since, and I'm just wondering, is this something that you want to bring up? Um uh, maybe it's not today, but um what audience would you like for this or who should be bringing this up. I think it was uh, Marcos who was talking about this. And may maybe Vincent, do you remember something about uh, DIMS? I don't actually. I'm trying to I'm trying to remember. This is not ringing a bell. Okay. Maybe we can look in the meeting notes uh, previously to see when, when this came up before. There, there is also um, there was also an item a while ago where we talked about AMI engagement, and I didn't hear any more. And that might be an offline discussion as well. So, I don't know. Um, some of the items we've brought up in the past, we've talked about them once, and I don't know. Are there offline separate discussions happening, or do you want to bring them back to this table at some point? Uh, the AMI one was quite tentative, if I remember correctly. Uh, both of these should be in the meeting notes uh, somewhere in the past. So if we need to find them, we can get some details from there. I don't remember right now off the top of my head who was uh, supposed to, to look out for those. Yeah, we had um, uh, Arun and Yang um, were two for the AMI engagement. So we can do that offline. Well, Yang is here. You want to ask him anything? Uh, no, just if there's any update. Um, is there was there any more that we wanted to talk about, or is it okay for the moment? Uh, from me. Yeah, um, Arun and Yang were the two that brought it up. Yeah, it's um, there's nothing from me. Just but let, let me know if you want to you know, uh, if you need anything from me, like a demo or just discuss anything. Um, they are a while ago, but what I'm thinking is, are we looking to have more engagement in those areas at this stage, or is our focus somewhere else? Uh, so this was specifically for more, right? Yeah. Uh, sorry, Eris, specifically for what? Um, maybe maybe it's not worthwhile doing this inside the meeting. At the, it's probably not the highest item. It was more that there are items that we're forgetting over time. Um, and they're probably a while back as well. I suppose. In yeah. Their... Yeah. Go on. Maybe yeah. maybe we should maybe we should uh, check out the the meeting notes uh, like separately, and we can get back okay. to this discussion. Okay. Uh, next time, because I, I'm not sure that Young has the context right now to remember the AMI discussion anyway, and and I don't. Either. Oh, now I do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So in, in I, that I do, case, but I, so... I didn't. I did not follow up, and uh, I'm not sure if there's anything uh, that needs to be done. No way. So no updates on that one. Yeah. No way. Does that answer your question, Carol? Um. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Uh, third item is also yours, Karen. This is more recent. Um, regional summit happened. Was there anyone from here at the regional summit that wants to give an update on it? Isn't it at the end of the month? 
of April. Yeah, it's April 24, 25, right? That's when okay. it is. So, yeah, and this one. I checked yeah. as well. Yeah, uh, next next up next week we can ask. Um or sorry, this in a month's time. So that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I don't okay. know if anyone representing uh meta that is going um at this moment. I'm not saying that's not gonna happen, but I haven't heard of anybody that will be participating. Um Hopefully someone will, but I'm just not aware of anyone. Okay. Okay. Um, thanks for the updates and questions, Karen. Uh, I, I tried to just write a sentence, but I, I failed at it in the meeting notes. Maybe I'll, I'll write it uh, later. Um, Next up, I added an item for uh, Venkat, uh, and you are on the call. Um, if I remember correctly, the SSD diags were scheduled for end of March. So we are at the end of March. What's the status on that? Yeah, I, uh, I think it's pretty close. I, I'll confirm uh, internally. Uh, so uh, I think, uh, yeah, uh, the SSD diags are pretty close. Uh, and the test drive is... It's like lead like a couple of weeks behind. Uh, so uh, I, yeah, I'll, I'll sorry, I don't have a whole lot of updates except that I think it's uh, the SSD tags should be uh, coming sometime in April. So, all right. Uh, do you need any help uh, with um, the output uh, with the spec on those? Yeah, yeah, I think the, uh, the output spec. Uh, we have the bare, bare bones version of it, right, with all the platform info and stuff. So they may uh, need some help from you to kind of uh, find it. So I'll circle back on that. Okay. All right. That, that's fine. Um, go ahead and, and set up a meeting in my calendar and we can deal with that. Sounds good, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, anything going on CTAM? Um, I'm not sure if something changed since last week. No, no, I think uh, uh, we're uh, waiting for the first release into uh, main uh, once, I mean, our first merge into main uh, from Rajat. And once that happens, uh, we may uh, actually need to do a PyPy release so that we can, uh, people who are uh, consuming it from PyPy, like they can actually get the latest version. But uh, uh, Rajat kind of was thinking that they did have like a monthly uh, kind of merge into main. Uh, as opposed to an actual release, and then uh, we'd kind of make the pipe a release from main uh, based every month, or uh, depending on like how many uh, comments go and how many tests change and stuff. Yeah, so I had some uh, discussion with Rajat last time, if I remember correctly, about the CI. Uh, in my opinion, given that we don't have a way to actually test the functionality of CTAM because we don't have GPU machines and in the GitHub CI. At the very least, we can run some unit tests and uh, make a publish uh, to, to PyPy automatically, as I was describing, you know, the two times ago with um, with the Git flow thing. Um, so if you, if you would, whenever it, it, the repo is ready for this, so like when those dev branches get merged into one and all of that, if you can let me know, I, I can help you with the publish to PyPy and those other scripts. Uh, Rajat you. isn't on the call today, I see. So that's why I'm, I'm telling you, I know you're uh, you're like closer to working to him. No, sounds great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think uh, once we have the merge into main, uh, I need your help there. Cool. Okay. Thanks for the update and cut. Uh, next, next up is Igor. Oh, hi everyone. Uh, I have created a pull request that fixes certain compiler issues with th that happen in our C++ library. Um, so a little bit of context, um, our vendor wanted to use this library some time ago and they couldn't compile it. So they reported errors to me and I also couldn't compile this library on my machine though the error was different. So apparently we have some uh, 
basically we have uh, dependencies in that library, like gRPC and something else. I don't even know why we depend on them. But in these dependencies, we have compiler problems and they are triggered with certain compiler versions. Uh, so basically I patched these dependencies because it's very hard to upgrade the dependencies. Basically we have a newer version of let's say gRPC that compiles properly, but it's hard to upgrade to that version. So I just cherry picked patches. Uh, please review. So I invited people who I could invite, but if anybody else is interested in reviewing, yeah, it's there. The link is in the doc. Um, thanks, Igor. So I'm, I have a question for you. Um, you, um, if I remember correctly, there was some discussion when, when Dylan was uh, changing themes. I, I don't know if you know Dylan Fox. Yeah, yeah, we, we talked. He basically gave me some context of the OCP work initially. Right, so he was changing themes and, and I got um, the impression from Dan that uh, you would help to maintain the, um, the C++ repo. Um, so it comes to me a, a bit weird uh, to be asking for uh, merges on, on pull requests. Uh, are you looking for a review and then you you want to merge it or is it like a maintenance uh, question uh, regarding this PR? And the more general question is, how do you see the maintainers going for this repo following on? Because Dylan is no longer here. I see. Uh, well, my intention is to just fix the problem so that uh, other so, so that our vendors can use it. I got a confirmation that they can use my branch. So I think it makes sense to merge it into master uh, main branch. Regarding in what, uh, like how we treat this pull request, whether it's maintenance thing or some other thing, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. So since so we I... all sort of contribute to this project, I guess we, I, I need a review, at least formally. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we can fix that. My question is uh, longer term, how do we manage the maintenance for this uh, particular repo? Because oh, Dylan, Dylan was looking after it uh, up until some point. And don't get me wrong, I, I'm not trying to put you on the spot right now. Maybe you can take this question offline and, and like talk to Dan or someone else uh, in your group to see how we figure this out. Right. So... Yeah, probably need to talk to them, but my feeling is that right now we basically OCP for us is a low priority, I think, or something like that. So I can maintain it, but I'm afraid um, there is no incentive for me to do that. But I, I don't mind doing that. It's, I mean, p people need this library, so why not? Basically, I'll talk to my management and see what they say, but I, I'm not sure if they encourage me to do that. Okay, that, that would be nice to, to figure out because uh, we have, uh, I'm, I'm sure you've noticed, but for each of the repos, we have like a main maintainer, even if mm -hmm. they belong to the whole group, right? So this one is a bit ambiguous to me right now. Right, right. Yeah, I don't mind to be a maintainer. Okay, uh, thanks for that. And um, uh, if you're talking to Dan, could you also ask about the um, uh, visualizer tool for the OCP outputs? Uh, mm -hmm. There was this thing uh, rendering into a single HTML file. And I know Vincent is interested in it uh, already. Right, I think uh, this tool then want, wanted to release it to OCP. So I, I, I can ask him regarding the timeline. Yeah, uh, this is his question. Yeah, that, that's my question. Since you're already going to talk to him, maybe uh -huh. we can get an update on that as well. Sure. OK. OK, thank you. Thank you very much, Igor. All right.
Um, okay, so other updates. Uh, Satish, I see on the call. Um, any updates on the LMP tool? Are we blocked on anything? Uh, is, is it blocking your timeline? What's going on there? No, it's not blocking. Just that I did not um, attend last week's meeting. So I think Hua had some questions. And uh, I think we, we, we're we trying to sort it out via Slack, like offline messages, just to make sure we understand this. But I think at this point, it's more of a clarification and not blocked. So I started the implementation for the output format. And uh, yeah, so I think the goal is should be done by end of this month, like end of March. But yeah, I think it's still getting like probably a week delay or something. All right. Do you need any help uh, on, on yes. that? Maybe uh, reviews or anything? Like I, I can yeah. do some stuff internally. Exactly. Yeah, I do need for sure. Uh, I will reach out to you offline for mostly for reviews at this point. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks for the update, Satish. Uh, Young, uh, I, I don't know if you if you touched on this earlier. Um, you have any updates on uh, VC? Anything changed? Um, we're just con continuing uh, onboarding new workloads. So we're internally validating uh, workloads at like uh, Nginx and also a new TBCH implementation of uh, uh, Memcache and other databases. So uh, just working on that. Um, we will, or we plan to send out a new release in the next one or two weeks. Very nice. Um, did you manage to have a discussion with Dan from Google uh, on those workloads that Google was supposed to, to provide to VC? Uh, no, uh, Dan directly, but uh, uh, the people in his team, yes, uh, I've been working with them. Um, uh, so far, I think they are in block on most things, but yes, I uh, like more communications uh, on this topic too. I see. Okay. So so it's in progress. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks for the update, Young. And I think lastly I will ask Vincent if you want to share any any updates, anything happened since last week. Um, there is one thing that I wanted to bring up. I, I do have to drop in a minute. Um, had a, a, a good discussion internal to Meta with uh, with Jan's team. I, I know we don't see Jan here often because he's got uh, some conflict. And uh, essentially, his team, my team, um, are, are involved and obviously Paul involved in the development of uh, tests and, and test frameworks. There was an interesting question I thought we need to follow up on because we've discussed it in this group, and that has to do with the dot .info and when certain tests generate the dot .info um, to tie back to have a properly formatted um, output. Um, this obviously is mostly relevant to people that are migrating tests rather from existing, you know, test executives rather than somebody writing a completely new test. Uh, I know it feels very detailed question, very, very uh, specific, uh, but I, I think I didn't want to dismiss it. And I, I did want to represent the concern that I heard from um, from Jan's team around the, the Odoval specifically, which is the name of the, 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 the test package that they develop because they don't have a, um, there is a little bit of this, uh, uh, not race condition, but this sequencing where the dot .info cannot be linked back in the test run start. They don't have the information to put, um, and that limits sort of some of the contributions that they can make back to OCP Diag. So I wanted to uh, resurface this conversation because I know we had it a long, long time ago. Um, and I don't know if it rings any bells for anyone here and what guidance we can provide for cases like this, because it seems to be a best practice. When the test starts, we should have a snapshot of the dot .info. And if we don't, then what's the guidance um, for people to, to, to do so? 
Right, so I, I can quickly address that because I, I remember some of the discussion that we had. Um, so if, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, the problem there is that the DOT is like discovered during the test or some aspects exactly. of it, right? And, uh, well, maybe it's not that short. Uh, would, you, would you like to have a, an internal discussion uh, or uh, have this discussion here and maybe invite Jan as well? That's yeah. I wanted to put it out here just to see if this is something that has come up uh, for others as well um, as a as a head scratch to see if we we dedicate um, another session to it um, because you know I was I went I also went back to our twenty twenty two presentation at the summit and it's true we didn't actually make as much. Um, reference to the dot info itself. Uh, we focused more on the other pieces. I mean, because it's an artifact of the test run artifact, we didn't really um, mention it too much. But in, in the discussions we just had on, on OCP Diag adoption uh, with Jan's team, this this did, this did get highlighted as, a, as something to work through. So I would like to have an offline on this topic. OK. So uh, maybe we need to set up something and, and talk about the implementation of this because I, I have some opinions on, on that as well. Okay. Um, thank you, Vincent. Yeah. And other than that, no, 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 um, no substantial updates. I think the other things are more um, higher level and the uh, engagement with the ODMs um, as uh, hasn't changed. I mean, at this point, we are we are still looking at giving them good guidance on what is the scope of a DIAG, you know, whether we're going to have our, our big items like FIO, MEM test, stress app test, IPERF uh, versus uh, the lower, um, the more granular fan speed checks and, and um, any firmware upgrades. So I, I think that's another discussion um, in, in the making on what's the granularity of, of a Diag. So quick question on that one. Uh, I suppose, I assume it will be very useful to have this guidance document that we've been talking about and adding various things to it. Okay, so maybe we should start on, on that one. It will be very, very helpful. I think it, it will be, um, it, yeah, it, it will really uh, shift the way uh, the adoption goes on um, on on delivering a diag as opposed to not an OCP diag because, yeah. All right, I I can put in a GitHub discussion and I'll try to collate all of the ideas in that discussion. Maybe we can transform that into a document later. All right, thanks. All right. I'm gonna drop and I'll see you soon. Thanks, Vincent. See you. Okay. Um, anything? Uh, so we're uh, we're done with the agenda, as I can see it in the notes document. Uh, anything anyone wants to raise for discussion today? Going once. Going twice. Okay, so um, I guess we can uh, end early today. I know some uh, some people need to to go to other places as well. So uh, in that case, we will see all of you next week. And uh, thanks for joining today. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. See you.